<clears throat> What's up, Nightmare Coyote? How you doing, sir? Okay, a tummy. How are you? I started playing this game about nine months ago, and it was early access. It's still early access, but I it's... am the one who knocks. I don't give a fuck, lady. It's still uh. State of the art. Bang, bang. It's still early access, but it's gotten so much better. I heard people talking about it and uh, saying it's improved, but it really fucking has improved. It really just goes to show you, my goodness gracious, how much oh, this weapon sucks. How much better games get via iteration. People just don't know. They don't know. I wonder when people start playing Dreams on PS4 or start making shit in Dreams. They will realize, look at these fucking split, man. They will realize, holy shit, to make something good, that shit takes Constant iteration. Constant fucking iteration. But I'm glad, man. I'm glad this game has started to find a, a vibe to it, because uh, I was looking forward to it. And then I was like, oh, this thing's shitty. It doesn't play that well. But it, oh, I am it. But it really has improved significantly since the, uh, since the early access started. Is that a hamster? And look at that, look at that. That's the shit they used to do back in the day. But you know what, fuck new... I mean, this is a new shooter, but I mean, fuck the new mentality of fucking shooters. So obnoxious. I mean, fuck it, man. Yeah, yeah. The gamers want what the gamers fucking want. If that's what the kids want today, fuck it. But the fact that in games like this, everything was interacting. You could touch and press everything and shit would be triggered to do some fucking funny shit. Now everything's gotta be so fucking realistic, it's super obnoxious to me. But hey, I mean, that's what the fans want. They get what they want, I suppose. Not for me. The game is like Duke Nukem. It was actually uh, made by the same publisher uh, and a lot of the same developers. I think the publisher and the developers were the same that made Duke Nukem. Um, I did play Devil Daggers, uh, or I saw Devil Dagger. Th that that was more of an arcade game, though, like more of a Robotron in 3D. I really like first-person shooters that are more, nice. you know, it feels like I'm actually on a little bit of an adventure or a journey. Devil Daggers was pretty much just a high score. It's almost like Geometry Wars, and that was not really what I was looking for. Plus, I like games that I can talk and stream, and that was a game that requires just so much concentration. Um... Drunken Bastard, you think uh, Halo fucked up with I, Look, I hate regenerating health. Um, I am playing Shadow Warrior, the new Shadow Warrior, which actually lets this you kind of, you know, stick. use your chi, and you can regenerate health whenever you want, but uh, I, I, I agree, man. I, I never liked regenerating health, but, you know, and, and Halo was also the game that, that sort of convinced people, oh, no, you can only carry two weapons at a time. That's realistic. I'm like, who gives a shit? But, you know, I mean, again, those games sell on bucket loads, so people seem to like that. Fine with me, as long as we're making games like this. We all get what we want, fellas. We all get to be happy. We all get that. Look at that fucker up there. Little details. Little fucking details. And you know that's like a friend of the development team. You know that's just, or that's somebody on the development team. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna fucking beat you to the fucking road. I don't think that's covered under warranty. Okay, the, 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 the VO lines are terrible. I mean, I guess they're supposed to be kind of cheese ball, but I don't know. I don't know if they're supposed to be funny. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to play it and go, oh my god, that is so fucking hilarious. Like, back in the 80s. Look, I was a kid in the 80s. I'd go to the goddamn theater, and when Arnold Schwarzenegger said shit like, you know, you promised you'd kill me last, and he's like, I lied. The whole fucking theater nice. just was uproarious laughter. I don't know if this is supposed to be that, or if this is supposed to be, hey folks, remember when the movies did that shit? I don't fucking know. I know people who made this game, I guess I could just fucking ask them. Um, gotcha. Oh shit. 
But yeah, they've improved the hit detection. They've made it so that the bad guys actually have, even though they're firing these uh, little paltry projectiles, you can actually see the tracers coming off the uh, the weapons, and so you know where the, the, the shooting is coming from. Literally in the first version of this that they released, they didn't have that art. And so you were getting hit from all over, and you're like, what the fuck is killing me? And you had no fucking idea. It's the little things, fellas. It's the little things that make a game playable. It's kind of fascinating. I don't really... On my day-to-day, -day, I don't I don't long to go back into video game development, at least at the moment. But it is cool when you see those little things and you go, Oh, that's so neat when that shit comes together. budget on a game like this is. Like, I wonder what they have to sell to break even, and for this to be a successful endeavor for those folks. I always like to make games thinking about what kids would do, or adults, on like a Sunday afternoon. That was my favorite thing to think about. The idea that somebody would be sitting in front of their TV, getting over being sick. Yum, yum, yum. Bro, thanks, lady. Wrapped up in a blanket playing God of War. I just thought that was the, it just evoked so much. It was very, it was very motivating. It kept me going a lot of times. I'm like, somebody's going to have that experience with this game we're working on. So think about that. The guys who made this game, they don't know that I'm out here playing this fucking game. They don't know that it's bringing me joy, but it's bringing me fucking joy. What more can you ask? What more can you ask of your Hello. Oh my goodness gracious. I thought you didn't like this game, says Rob. I did not like this game, Rob. And then they, somebody was telling me they released a new level. And um, they've been putting a lot of work in the early access. And since that time, the game has gotten absolutely playable, basically. It, it, their hit scan issues have been resolved. Um, that was the biggest issue. Their 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 enemies did not toss out um, visual. Hang on, look at this. It'll, it'll do something. It'll fucking do something. Watch this, fellas. Watch this. Look at that. Hang on, let me kill this bad guy. So yeah, it, it it actually is playable now, and it's much more fun. And when you get hurt, you understand why you got hurt. Oh and, yeah. And obviously, for a shooter, that's crucial. And so once they fix that, and they released three new levels since the last time I played it, I have really been uh, enjoying this a lot more. I mean, I've only recently started playing it again. Like, I started playing it last night. Um, Carlos says the new Wolfenstein had, has the same problem. You can't tell where you're being shot from. Yeah, that's, that's unacceptable. But just little fucking things. Fellas, come on, look at that. She's out a soda can. You can change the fucking record. At least I turned it on. Look at that. Come on. Come on. That's Somebody probably spent three days on that. But it matters. It fucking matters. Nobody cares anymore. Oh, shit. Sorry, lady. I shot you in the fucking head. It's made by the guys who did Duke Nukem Ashley. No, I don't want these weapons. I want a fucking projectile. Come on, help me out. Bullshit. Yeah, it's got a total 80s vibe, which I love. I love. You know what, man? When I was a kid, I used to hate to go. Like, Saturday nights would roll around when I was like 13. And that was when everybody was having all their fucking bar mitzvah parties and shit. Because I was uh, I was raised Jewish. I had a lot of Jewish friends. And it was like, I mean, again, like, good for them, yay, whatever. But I was just like, oh my god, I just want to stay home and play video games. I don't want to go dress up in a fucking suit and go and fucking pretend I know how to dance. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. All I wanted to do was get back home and play my video games. I don't think I was alone. I don't think I was alone. Some kids are just better. Some kids are just better. They're better, they're socially more evolved at that age. And, you know, good for them. That's, that's, that, that gets them far in high school. But for me, I was like, do I really have to do this shit? I don't want to do it. 
Sometimes my parents let me stay home, but they didn't want to be rude to the parents who spent a shit ton of money, I suppose, on the markets for parties, because that shit was not cheap. That shit was not cheap, fellas. If you ever think about uh, turning into a Jewish individual and getting a bar mitzvah party, let me just tell you something. It'll cost you some fucking money. It'll cost you some dollars. Rob, you ordered Shadow Warrior? Yeah, Shadow Warrior's great, man. Um, Sorcery Warrior, this is, a, this is a new game. It's an early access, but it's built on the, the philosophy of older games. Uh, it's actually made by the original Duke Nukem 3D team, so, you know, you, you should know what you're getting. I mean, it's definitely that kind of game. Okay, I started down here. Can I get this I like how that's her response to opening the elevator. It's like, uh, I mean, nothing there. It's like, lady, you're just touching the door. Where the fuck am I going? I don't know. The earth will get you. I'll take the dumb way here. That's what I'll do. Right? I mean, in what fucking game can you get in a dumb waiter anymore? God damn it, what happened? I know I sound like one of those cranky old people that's just like, oh, back in my day. But you know what? Fuck you. Back in my day was better. Back in my day, shooters like this were better. They just weren't. Yum, yum, yum. They just weren't. Fuck you. Hello, Spider Man, Batman. Good to see you. It's smart to take the dumb waiter, says Sorcery Warrior. It is indeed. That is not untrue. Where the fuck am I? I think I know where I'm going. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hang on. I'm just going here. Nightmare Coyote says, Jaffe, you did that for me. The whole bring people joy when I was sick after junior high, I played Twist Metal Black. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. I love hearing that. Wrath, shut up. Wrath, I'll tell you what. I, I gotta tell you, you got you guys were really embarrassing at the giant at the uh, not giant bomb at the uh, the Mega 64 stream yesterday. It's like, Jesus Christ, I can't take you guys anywhere. They're like, what is wrong with these people? I'm like, oh, they're they're part of my fucking Jaffe stream community and it's like dude that, that I mean whatever it's virtual nobody really cares but it's just like oh my god you guys that shit flies on the Jaffe stream sometimes but you take that out of the Jaffe stream and people just think what is wrong I think one of you guys even got banned they were like what the fuck is wrong with these people just just be aware do I think a new uh Turok would would be good yeah sure I mean dinosaurs are always cool but I'm not, I'm not like one of these like old school Turok fans. See, that looks like that should be something, right? I mean, come on. I mean, look, it wasn't my stream. I don't care if you guys are being wacky. I'm just saying that, you know, for what it's worth, it, people were like, what's wrong with these guys? I'm like, I don't know, fellas. I don't know. I am playing this with a keyboard, Obzar. Good to see you, Obzar. It's been a while. Going through there, I suppose. But I, I have to analyze this. I have to figure out what it is about. I have. I mean, I, it, it seems so simple. It seems so goddamn simple, and yet I, my brain hasn't really gotten used to it yet. The idea of basically saying, "Oh shit, hello." That these are the kind of games I just really like these days. And I know it's weird, but it's like I should be playing more modern games. Like my brain tells me, Jaffe, why don't you go play some more modern games? Even though this is a brand new game. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know if my brain is stuck in the 90s, but I just like stuff like this so much more. And I'm trying to analyze as a game designer. I think that's where my brain goes. I'm like, okay, what is it about this? What, what are you digging about this that you're not getting in other games? And I haven't quite figured it out yet. Did I not get the key card there? Okay. Wait, I need to say it. Right. 
you have auto map? Like, do you mean is there a button I can press to see the map? Yeah, I can hit tab. And I can see that. If that I don't know if that's what you mean by auto map. The map's really confusing, though. Like, this is not confusing, but like all those little lines... Like, what the f Are those enemies? What is this? What is that thing, for example? Not, oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, you fucker. That's okay. That's okay. Because, uh, I saved. Aha. Uh -huh. In fact... Well, Bill Maher attacked comic book fans when Stan Lee died. Did he do something again last night? Um... Uh... Our grandeur says maybe it's the overfocus on graphics and non-interactive parts of games. Yeah, that could be it, because I really just like to play. That's true. Do the retro games create the atmosphere of your childhood? No, because I, I was an adult when these games were in their heyday. Um, I am kind of I am kind of craving some Resident Evil 2, though. Uh, I, I was kind of debating if I was going to play it, but I think I'm going to play it. Um... Let me, let me get out of this fucking house. Hang on, this is taking too long. Nothing there. What do you fucking mean, nothing there? I literally saved the game when the door was open. How? What do you mean, nothing there? Fuck you. Are you on your knees yet? Are you out of your mind? This game, Northy Tunes, is called Ion Maiden. Look at that, little drones with heads on it. Come on, creativity, motherfucker. I like it, I like it, makes me happy. That looks like Destro from G.I. fucking Joe. Are we speedrunning? No. No, I don't speed run. I don't, I'm terrible at that. It makes me nervous as fuck. The Darkness. You know my buddy Paul Jenkins, who worked with us on the Twisted Metal Black movies, was the writer of The Darkness, or at least The Darkness 2, not just the comic, but the video game? A lot of people say that's one of the best written video games of all time. And I'm inclined to believe them. In fact, I think Rock, Paper, Shotgun just did a, uh, oh, come on, fuck you guys, you fuckers. They just get a write up on the darkness. How good of a story game that is. And I've never played the darkness too, so maybe that is what I will play next. Dave, you like the Mega 64 thing? I liked it too. I, I've I'd met Rocco and those guys a couple of times in the past, and it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I'm not gonna lie, if they were to say, Jaffy, come back and do stuff more often, I would be fucking happier than a pig in shit. Um, those guys are really fun, they have a cool set, um, they have a cool setup, and I, you know, frankly, as somebody who likes to stream a lot and do broadcast stuff lately, I just really want to learn from those guys, like, exactly how they run their operation and shit, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to push myself on it, but, I mean, if they, if they call, I'll be there, let's just put it that way. In the meantime, that was a lot of fun to do, I ain't gonna lie. What's that EA game? The Army of Two. Consumer models. Oh shit! Oh shit! Swallow this. Wow, really? Come on, really? I mean, I like the cheesy dialogue, but it's so—it's hard to tell if it's supposed to be good or I don't know. How long is the game? I have no idea. Rob, you are a hundred percent right. The reason people were getting banned on Mega Sixty Four is we have trolls that we that we let live among us. I'm I debate that lately. The more and more I see some of the trolls on our stream, 
the more I start to wonder if I'm gonna stay okay with it. Like, I, I, like Hogwash never bothers me because it's like creative trolling and he's just funny. But some of the guys are just kind of assholes and I don't personally mind it. But it becomes a question of like, are people coming to the stream who have never been there seeing it and going, what the fuck kind of, what have I wandered into? This just seems like a mean-spirited group of assholes. And so I think I'm going to start trying to maybe tailor that a little bit. Um, again, not with somebody like Hogwash. I think Hogwash kind of has, he, he's, he does a good job of straddling that line where he's making, he's making funny shit. But... And it's kind of edgy, but some of the guys are just assholes. And again, I don't mind it, but I think it might be a turnoff to a lot of people, you know? Um, Wrath is the more aggressive, colder version than... Yeah, I, I agree. Wrath I like personally, but I think his shtick is, uh, is starting to wear thin. And again, no offense to Wrath, I think, you know good dude but i think it just gets to the point that maybe other other viewers might be like what the fuck man huh. i really need a better weapon this is absurd dave carr i'm with you 100 percent um Opzar, I don't stay around long enough to remember the names. Ah, fair enough. What causes you to leave a stream, Opzar? That's what I want to know. That's that's something I could get educated on. Teach me. Teach me, Op. Oh, I never shit. would have guessed. Really? I wouldn't. Yeah, lady. Wait, what? Can I get out of this fucking thing? No, not with those fucking things. Fucking fucks. Mother fucker. Huh. Uh, I have not played uh, RE2 yet, 20 Master. I played the, um, uh, I played the, uh, what's it called? The, the demo, which I like. Um, but I need to get the full game. I might get it tonight. What is my, does passion constantly fluctuate? And do you believe in the idea of purpose? Um, I really do and I don't. I don't believe in the idea of, uh, let me say this, purpose is like dreams, or are, is, is like when you dream, dreams are not literal language, they are metaphor. I think purpose is metaphor. I think you at a fundamental level of who you are, you have sort of a sensibility I that never you can pretty guessed. much apply to any thing that you choose to do. I think apply oh my god, I think applying that base fundamentally, that basic fundamental aspect of yourself, that to me is purpose. But no, I do not think the universe has said, okay, Jaffe, you are now meant to be nice. streaming. You are meant to make video I games. You are meant to do guessed. this. I no, I don't I don't believe it is um I do not believe that it is uh, a literal thing. Where like does that. he get these? The literal part to me is the fact that I think you do have sort of an innate sensibility and purpose is expressing oh, that sensibility, but you can express it in anything that you're doing, if that makes sense. I'm just going to save right here because I'm tired of this shit. Rob, I know you guys will. I'll, I'll let you know on the next proper stream for sure. Thank you, Dia Hassan. He says he likes the stream. My rule of thumb when I come on a stream, don't piss off Jaffe if you value your life. If Jaffe reads your comment, enjoy it. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Try to stay on topic. Well, thank you, Kata. I appreciate that. Is there a way to know your sensibility, says Prince Jay? Yeah, I think you can feel it. I think, um, I think you can, uh, I mean, you know, I don't think you can necessarily put it into words, um, but I think you can kind of, Get quiet with yourself and get a sense of the things that uh, that that inspire you and work for you, and that you know it's the stuff that guides you. It's the little voice that guides you. If that makes any sense. Why do you ask? Are you trying to figure some shit out in your life? Like, what are you trying to figure out? That's a better question. I've decided that's a better question. Okay, I, 
have the red key card. I'm gonna go open that fucking door. God, I like this game. I like this game so much. It's so much better than it was. Oh my god, fuck you. Don't worry, I saved. I saved. Go fuck yourself. It's not a problem anymore. I just, I, I just don't know. I mean, I, I, to be perfectly fair, the last new Wolfenstein game I played was the Wolfenstein game that was, um, the re, the, the new one, but not the sequel. Right, so it was what is it, what was it called? The one where it was all remade and shit, and I liked it. So maybe I should play the sequel. But I don't. I haven't played any modern AAA first-person shooters in a while, other than that's the last one I played. So oh wow. Look. So maybe there are more games that have this sensibility that also have fancy graphics, but I haven't seen them. Stuff like Dusk and a Medieval and this really feel different to me for some reason. Um, Wrath, take a guess. Do, do you think I'm liberal or conservative? Um, I don't fucking know. I don't really care. Um, my guess is you're liberal, but what do I give a shit? Okay, me, Jeff, you have 15 health. Don't engage these fuckers. Go get some health, you fuck. What did I get? Oh, oh, what? What did I get? That's nice, but I could use some health, please. What the fuck is this thing I have? Uh, what? Uh, what? I don't know what this is. Oh, wait, this is making... I don't know what this is. I literally have no idea what's happening. Let me get in. Let me get in. Don't you fucking kill me, you fucker. Come on. Come on. Give me a break, man. Give me a break, man. Let me just survive. Let me just get a goddamn good weapon. I have three hit points, you fuck. You fuck. You fuck. Uh. Prince has a good job. He's healthy, but I've been feeling a bit lost. I came here to pursue acting and film, and all of a sudden I found myself really bored with it. Um... Well, painkiller is not recent. That's true. You find yourself bored with acting. Okay, well, I mean, here's, okay, here's my question to you on that, for whatever it's worth. If you find yourself currently bored with acting. Wow. Is, oh, oh, that's the dead dog. Don't you guys get it? That's like the coffin. Can I open it? They buried the dog. Come on, guys. That's storytelling. That's in-game storytelling, folks. That's how Papa Jaffe likes it. Um, so, what was I going to say? So, I mean, there are days where I get bored with streaming, which is what I've been doing for the last 11 months or so. But I never want to not do it. It's more like I come back to it and go, oh, it's not that I'm bored of streaming. It's that the format that I'm per pursuing isn't quite working, right? But I would say that if you find with acting, um, oh shit. If you find with acting that you genuinely are over it and you don't want to come back to it, then there you go, That what else do you need to know? But if you're like, you know, if you're on and off about it and you know, you have three or four days where you love it and then a week where it's shitty, I think that's very different. So I guess my question is, how are you experiencing it? Um, Cargo Bay, what do you mean? What do you mean I could vary the formats more? What do you mean, sir? Come on, Jaffy. Come on, fucker. Why is my gun... Uh, I'll tell you the reason I don't... I, I, one of the things I don't like right now about this is when you're out of ammo, it doesn't let you change to the weapon. And so what that does is it, it, it makes it so I don't remember what weapons I have because usually I've learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I fucking learn the weapons I have. Hey, let me turn down the audio. All right, tell me if that audio is better. Uh, usually I learn the weapons that I have by, you know, oh, three is always this gun. Like right now this gun is two. But if I don't have ammo for that gun, it doesn't change to the gun. And so I, I, I'm not getting sort of the muscle memory of just knowing what that weapon is. That's bad fucking game design, fellas. 
But it's still early access. They'll fucking fix it. Come on. Jaffe, have you ever thought about moderating debates between viewers or getting other creators to come on and talk to us? No. I have not. It doesn't interest me. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. Come on, Jaffe. Prince says it's the social media and the biz size. I don't want to promote myself as something I'm not because I don't have a following. Agents don't really look at me, so I sort of stop. Well, again, man, um, again, man, it's what you want to do. You either want to do it or you don't want to do it. I mean, it really is that simple. You let, let me just let me. The last thing I'll say about it is, is is people can get way up in their heads with this shit. Life's short. Do shit you like. You're never going to have an actual answer. Society does a number on people by talking about purpose and all that shit. I think you know good and goddamn well on any given day what you want to be doing if you get quiet. And sometimes it changes and sometimes it's consistent and you just do shit. That's how it works. It's not magic and media turn, tends to try to make it sound like, oh, what is your purpose? What is your, why are you here? What, is, what, did, what did God put you here for? And all that does is make people fucking miserable. You're never really going to know. You think I was a kid wanting to go into video games? You think that was my initial desire? No, it wasn't. It just kind of happened. Then I ran with it. What is killing me? Okay, this is getting obnoxious now. It's getting obnoxious. I might take my kids to the museum this week. I might drag them to the fucking museum this week. There is an exhibit. There is an exhibit this week. That's like this guy did this uh, art installation on like. He, he basically grew up in uh, in uh, uh, I think it was like where there was like the uh, the bombings and the IRA. Is the IRA the fucking the 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 fucking uh, terrorist groups up in in England? And he built a cafe in the museum in San Diego that is in mid-explosion. I don't know if he, his mom died in one of those places or he just remembered it as a kid from the news. But you can basically go around and walk around a cafe that's in the process of being blown up and shit. And I, I want to I have that experience. It sounds really fucking cool. I love museums, man. I, I love the museums that are fucking weird, though. Like, people would make more money. It's like, you know what? I get it. Show off a fancy fucking statue, whatever. But if somebody was like, you know what? No, I'm going to do cool fucking museums. And they have them. They just don't have that many. Like, I went to a cannibal museum uh, or, or an exhibit about cannibalism. And it was fucking fascinating. Shit's fucking fascinating. People would go to museums a lot more. Like, Guillermo del Toro had his exhibit where it was just all the shit he'd collected over the years. Shit like that is awesome. People love that shit. All right, I need to get some fucking health, and I need it now. I'm tired of this bullshit. This is ridiculous. I need a fucking save space. Okay, come on, come on. I need a save space. I will call it. Uh, yeah, sure. Override it. I'll call it. Dwayne The Rock. Boom. You bet he was insecure about his name when he was a kid. I bet he was. Your name is Dwayne. Oh, shit. What were they all doing in the bathroom? That's kind of weird. I mean, I'm not judging him. I'm really not. Oh, Curious. Oh shit! Come on, fucker! Come on, Cletus! Oh, there. That's what I need. Really yeah, that. you goddamn right. You really needed that. Let's take the shower. I wonder if they let the shower work. Nothing there. Come on, man. This the that's the best when you can make the shower work. Nothing 
in there. Really? Really? You're not gonna make the toilet work? Come on, you guys. This game has... Oh, okay. This, guy's had, this game has really good interactivity, and then other times it just drops the ball. But again, it's not done yet. It's not done. It's not done. I'm gonna drink that. Can't. Can't. Yeah, I would make a game like this. I would get back into game development if I could make a game like this. You got damn right I would. I don't know where I'd find the money, but I would do a game like this. I would do a game like this. It would be as creative as fuck. You would be like, holy shit, Jaffe is just... It would be the Mandy of video games, man. It would be awesome. But you would be creative as shit in games like this. I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that. Nice. But it's, it's fun to talk about. I'm going to go to bed. There you go. Prince, you listen to this stream on the way to work and training. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for listening to it, sir. I love doing it. So I appreciate you being there for me and uh, supporting it. Thanks, sir. Very kind of you. Very courteous of you. Well, look, man. I hope you find your path. Everybody's got a path. That's not even true. Everybody can make... That's a better way to say it. That's a better way to say it, Prince. Everybody can make a path. Everybody has a path is more of that bullshit society crap. It's like, everybody's got a purpose. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Everybody's got a, a shot. That's what everybody... Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit. Damn, fuck that guy. Oh, really? What? 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 Okay, there's the door I want. At least I know where I'm going now. Is this game hard? Um, I don't think it's hard. I think it's just, um, no, it's not hard. I mean, I'm playing on normal mode. It, it's still early access, so it's got a bunch of little little issues with uh, hit detection and, and, and queuing off the, 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 the player. ZMD says Anthem got a three out of five. I didn't get a chance to get into that demo. Let me tell you guys a something, a something, hang on. Please have a checkpoint right there. Thank God. Um, when we saw Anthem, we still had Bartlett Jones going. And we saw the trailers for Anthem. And I can't tell you what the game was that we were working on that was canceled. But let's just say the game we were working on that was canceled had people in kind of Iron Man robot-like suits. And we saw the graphics and we saw how those people were flying around in Anthem. And this was just the... Um, this was just the... Uh, the, the demo, the E3 stuff, and we, you know, it, it, even as developers, you get so intimidated sometimes because you look at the stuff other people are making and you're like, oh my God, we cannot compete. But then when I saw people actually streaming the Anthem demo yesterday, I was like, oh, it, it doesn't look anything like what they showed at E3 in the trailers. It looks good. It absolutely looks good, but it, it doesn't look like, oh my God, we'll never be able to compete. Like the flight, in Anthem, the camera is not very dynamic, which it probably can't be in order to give players the ability to navigate. It just kind of looks kind of generic. I'm not saying the game is. I'm just saying the art stuff that we were so blown away and intimidated by actually ended up not being as scary. And that, that happens every game I've ever made. You'll see somebody else's game and go, we can't compete, fellas. We're fucked so bad. And it ends up being like, no, they're just showing you the very best of their best under the exact right light. And even though you think by 20 years in games plus, I would know that, it still catches you off guard sometimes. Ah! Fuck you, you piece of shit. Ah! Oh, really? Okay. God damn it. All right, here we go. I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus. You're goddamn right. John Wick, you motherfucker. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, oh, fucker. Fucker. Attack of the Pixels wants us all to know not everyone can succeed. Most people have to accept they are not, they're going to have to settle. Everyone in life has to be, everyone, every role has to be filled. Best thing you can do is find something makes you happy. Attack of the Pixels, I only partially agree. I think you have to find something that makes you happy. But that sounds like advice a dad would give somebody, like a really obnoxious, well-meaning dad. It's like, look, you got to go for it. 
You know, the, 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 it's, it's a cliche, but it's true. The regret people have on their deathbed is they never went for their dreams. Who gives a shit if you fail? It's not about succeeding. It's about going for it and saying, I tried. So this advice that people give, like, well, you just have to settle. You're not going to ever, most people aren't ever really going to, you know, achieve their dreams. Well, fuck you. Maybe they're not, but somebody has to. Why don't you get to try? And again, you have to be okay failing. You have to be okay accepting that that may not work for you. But, but the idea that a lot of people will say that like it's some kind of really wise uh, advice, I think it's terrible advice to give to someone. It's soul crushing. And look, I mean, I had people tell me when I was starting out in video games, why do you think you get to design games, Jaffe? And if I would have listened to them, I never would have had the career I've had. I probably have people right now tell me, Jaffe, you're not gonna get to stream. I mean, not that I wanna stream games all day, but you're not gonna have a successful streaming career. Yeah, maybe they're right. But what am I gonna do? Sit around and go, oh, okay, I'll go work at the bank. I'll go do something that I don't really like because, you know, somebody on the internet told me or my dad told me that uh, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, you may not make it. Fuck you, who gives a shit? We're all gonna die, might as well, might as well have fucking fun doing what you wanna do. Life's a playground, motherfucker. Nightmare is correct. The only thing ever holding anybody back is themselves. You gotta want it first. You sure as fuck do, sir. Okay, I gotta want... I, here's what I gotta want. Get through this fucking hallway. All right, come on, Jaffe. One hit point. One hit point. You can do it, sir. I have faith. There's a health kit with your name on it right there. Oh, motherfucker. Focus. That's all it takes. It's focus. Focus and a little bit of experience. Because I know there's one of those little fuckers waiting around the corner for me. Come on, fucker. Go die. Go die a fucking fire, you fuck. Um, Ed, Wood, Ed Wood sure tried. He sure did. Ed Wood would be a blazing success today in the age of, like, home video and streaming and shit. But, uh, sure, he tried and he failed. But at least he made... He seemed like a happy fella. Better... And Ed Wood is still remembered 40 years after his death. Guy made some movies. Made some movies that he liked. Had a good time on the set. What else? What are you going to do? But maybe it's how you're raised. I was raised that way. I mean, you know, my parents didn't have glamorous jobs, but they were very much about go do shit you want, man. Go have a good time. So, yeah, maybe if you're raised different. Yeah, he, he was the Tommy Wiseau of his time. Absolutely. Oh, shit. That you little fucker. You little fu Okay, guys, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Okay, here we go. Boom, you're off. You've been taken out, you fucker. You're about to get taken out. Red piece of shit. Come on. Don't fucking come at me. Do not fucking come at me. Right, now. Now I gotta prep for this little small fuck. Do not fuck with me, or I will fucking kill you. This is the new Jaffe hit. All the kids are downloading it and streaming it. It's called Do Not Fuck With Me, or I Will Kill You. Do not fuck with me, or I will take your life force away. That's, I think, really my calling, when I think about it, should have probably been writing songs. I think what I just did there, what I... Oh, no, 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 fuck you. I want to save right here, you fuck. Yes, override it. I think that's a pretty good song. Um, Attack of the Pixel says that's how he was raised. It served him well to get a high paying job. Who gives a shit? I've had a high paying job. Are you happy? Now, if your answer, Attack of the Pixels, is fuck yeah, I'm happy, then great. Then you win. Good for you. I think all that matters is if you're happy. But if you're saying you're happy, Great, but I know a lot of people who make a lot of fucking money who are unhappy. Money ain't the source. I mean, you gotta have enough money to live. You got enough money to take care of your family. But most money, the, the amount of money most people think they need is absurd. It's a joke. All they want is stuff. They just want crap. Yeah, that's great, though. If you're happy attacking the pixels, that's fantastic. My parents told me to go for it, but you got to do bad jobs as well sometimes. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. And there's no fucking, you know, there's no goddamn guarantee. 
Like at all. I'm trying to see if I can use this to get up there. Look at me. Boom. Don't fuck with Ion Maiden, sir. I think that's a save. That's a save right there. Oh. Yeah, minimalism is the shit attacking the pixels. You're goddamn right. Put your money away. Put your money away and buy the freedom. All right, here we go. What's in here? All right, here we go. Hello. Oh, sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. Just my size. Oh shit. Isn't this a bit excessive? Maybe. I have no idea where my weapons are. I have no idea where that big Gatlin gun is. God damn it, Jaffy. I don't know if I have the gun for this. God damn it, Maverick. Okay. Oh, you fucker. You fucker. Alright, here we go. Just my size. What shall I use for this upcoming battle? Let's see. What is that? What the fuck is that? Okay, that's a grenade launcher. What am I fucking? I need a gun. I guess I'll use a shotgun. That's what we got, folks. We got ourselves a shotgun. Isn't this a bit uh, excessive? What is your day job, Attack of the Pixels? Prince J was the hard part knowing I had pursued acting. Hang on a second. I gotta focus. Okay, hang on. The hard part was knowing I'd pursued for two good years and wanted it for like 10, but it was all just part of life texture. I'm glad I had the experience and you're still in the town. Yeah, and LA's a great fucking town, man. I fucking love Los Angeles. Traffic shit. I had a friend of mine that I went to high school with who went to New York to be an actor. And uh, he was posting on Facebook the other night. He said, um, you know, I, I think he's like, I've been doing this for 10 years. I think I'm just going to go back to Birmingham. Which, you know, I mean, look, that happens. I mean, acting's a fucking nightmare in a lot of ways. You're basically totally dependent. You know, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's any job, but you're really dependent on are other people going to vibe with what, you know, what you look like, what you sound like. I mean, you know, who the fuck knows? My youngest daughter wants to act, or at least she's really into acting right now. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out for her. She's good. She's really surprisingly good, given she's never done much, but she's quite good. But yeah, who knows? But I wish her well, and she has my love and my support. And I want to see, I want to see her go after her, her goals, man. Come on, man. Just my size. Come on, man. Are you, are you shitting me? I'm not going to have to fucking do this level all day long. Okay, I need something that fires faster. Let's try that. Okay, give me something. You got to give me something. Isn't this a bit uh, excessive?
How do you think famous YouTubers got where they are? What do you mean famous coyote or infamous or nightmare coyote? Because a lot of that shit's just luck too. I mean, look, I, I, I see the I see the people my kids watch on YouTube. Y you know, if, if you think part of it is not that they're watching because there are a bunch of dudes that uh, they think are cute, you're a fucking moron. It's not unlike Hollywood. I mean, yeah, they're kind of funny and stuff, but they're not so fucking hilarious that they, they, you know, they need to be on SNL. They're just normal dudes that happen to be attractive dudes, and then they're doing some funny shtick. That's part of it. It's just like acting. The look is an important aspect. Not all of them, for sure. Thank God. Isn't this a bit excessive? Yeah, because I've been in this level for fucking ten minutes. Come on, folks. Don't fucking keep me here. Plus, the shotgun doesn't deal damage based on distance, which is really weird. Where did my HUD go? Oh, shit. My HUD's gone. Come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. If you're saying the joy of getting stuck is at play, it may be if I solve it via my mind, but if it's just basically luck, that's that's not getting that's not getting stuck. That's just being annoyed. But you may be right, like if I if I figure out a tactic, then I'm gonna love Isn't it. Isn't this a bit uh, excessive? Like right now I'm thinking if I look at these little cubby holes and start shooting before God damn it, I missed my opportunity. Yet. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where is my fucking health? Alright, where is my HUD? Hang on a second. Okay. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Fucker McFuckstein. All right, come on, Jaffe, you can do this. You can do it, you can do this. Isn't this a bit uh, excessive? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I need to be loaded too. Come on, you fuck. Fuck, I missed that shot. That could be it. Oh, I missed it again. I missed it again. The game's giving me plenty of opportunity. I'm fucking it up. Oh, really? You're gonna be the end of me, you little fuck. Oh, you fucker. Do not fuck with me. I will fucking kill you. <sighs> okay, please stop. Please stop. Please let that be as low as we go. Really? Shit. 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 Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me! You gotta be fucking shitting me! Game design, motherfucker, have you heard of it? It's called balancing your fucking game. Let me breathe for a moment, you fuck. Ah, nah, see, now we're gonna throw some more shit at you. You just totally spent an hour getting down the bottom of the elevator. Now let's fucking, you know, let's just fuck you. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Better have a checkpoint. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You know what? Fuck off. Here's a way to... You know, this is what a lot of game developers don't fucking get. I got a million fucking games I could be playing. It's not just like, ah, we'll get them stuck, see? 
And then they'll enjoy being stuck. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. And then it gets to the point where it's like, you know what, it's not 1992 anymore where I only get like one fucking Super Nintendo game for my parents a year. I got a million fucking things to play, fucker. Shit's too hard. And I ain't playing on hard mode. Think I'm fucking motivated to do this shit again? Fuck you. Fuck you. It's just a game, David. Sh Good kill pain. I'm aware it's just a game. I'm aware it's just a game, sir. I like how he's telling me it's just a game. I know it's just a game. What do you want? What, what, what is that? I don't get people like that. Yes, it's just a game. You know what? I'm fucking passionate about shit. I'm so tired of that shit. Yes, let's all be calm, always. Let's all be calm. Let us never raise our voices. Let us never get excited about things. And that is how we will survive. That is how we will survive. And make lots of friends and be popular. Don't care. Don't give a fuck. God damn it! <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Here we go again. Fuck you, motherfucker. Little fucking spider fuck. Okay, are we reloaded at least? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Focus, focus, Jeff. Get this done. Get this shit done. Center of the room. Watch for the cubbies to appear. Isn't this a bit yeah, I know, lady. It's excessive. excessive. Yeah, me playing this 30 times is excessive, you fuck. Right behind me? Calm down. <laughs> fuck this game. Fuck this piece of shit game. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. Kyle Wavy says if you lose your cool, you start getting upset. You start getting... It becomes harder. It becomes harder. Right, Fuck this game. Fuck this piece of shit. Okay, I have to have a better weapon. This is ridiculous. Hang on. Let me deal with this guy first. Oh, what? You fuck? Yes, there. You happy? Here, fuck you, you piece of shit little German head on a fucking spider. I'm assuming he's a German dude like World War II. It looks like Wolfenstein. Fuck you. I'm not being racist. Okay, hang on. Well, that... Let's try grenades. Fuck it. Let's try fucking grenades. We'll try two and six. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Isn't this a bit? Yeah, shut up, lady. I gotcha. I gotcha. I understand. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Go fuck your dumb fucking self. Piece of shit tune game. Get your jobs done. I would be furious if I was a goddamn developer. Alright, let's try two, no, three and six, alright? Isn't this a bit. Shut up! Excessive. Yes, it is. So is your fucking voice acting. Can I get some fucking health? <laughs> Fuck this game. Fuck this game.
just my size. Okay. <sighs> okay. Wait, I have health kits. Can I use those health kits? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay. Health, health, health. Uh... Oh my god, you're shitting me. You're shitting me. Look at that. Papa Jaffy's happy again. Look at that. Papa Jaffy is happy again. Isn't this a bit excessive? That's right, fuck you. Took me a minute. The developers watching, they're like, why don't you just fucking go use uh use your med kit, motherfucker? Shut up! Oh, I got med kits now, you fuck. Now what are you gonna do? Ooh, ooh. Fuck you, fuck you, med kit for that. Oh, you fucker, you fucker! Oh, shut up, Dark Zero Reader, the graphic fuck! Fuck you, fuck you. I like how the fucking laptop saved this dumbass. Now that I have a med kit, that shit's easy. <laughs> Whatever, don't judge me. Uh, nothing there. Fuck you, man. Oh, you throw quite a party. I saved the game, you little fuck shit! Oh, you throw quite a party. I fucking saved the game. Piece of shit, motherfucker. Fine. Fine. Isn't this a bit uh, excessive? Yeah, it is. Shut the fuck up before I s come over there and die again. Please never say that again. Please never say that line again. I will pay you DLC. I will play a microtransaction if you never say that fucking voice line again. It is so embarrassing and cringy for you, not for me. Okay, fuck you, you fucker!
Okay, these fuckers need to die. I'm sick of these little flying fucks. Fuck you, piece of shit. And there's some fucking junior designer at 3D Realms that's like, I made the fucking things really hard to hit. I love it. I love watching focus depth when they can't kill my inventions. I made them hard to hit. Boss, did I do good? Am I a game designer now because they made it hard? Fucker. No, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, I made it really hard, see? I like watching them when they're frustrated. It means I'm doing good at my job. Fuck. Now watch. Save the game. New save. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. Nice. Piece of shit. Fuck. Oh, here they are again, boss. I've spawned some more of these little small fuckers. Aren't I good? Yes, we're getting gameplay time. These are oh, wonderful, boss. So I'm doing wonderful. Oh, you fuck. Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you, Hogwash. I didn't tune those spike pillars. I don't agree, Twin Spectre. Challenging's the best part of old games. This is bullshit. Can you manually reload? I don't know. I think you should be able to, but I can't figure out how. Fuck you, you shithead! Ah, you see? I calculated the rotation speed of the average person's mouth settings, and in doing so, I've then made our flying drone characters, which I affectionately like to call Baron Zemo, I've turned them into a little bit of a higher rotation speed to create the exact amount of twerk, or torque, I'm sorry, and twerk. Mm -hmm. Urgh, you fucker, just shut up. God damn it, you fucks. God damn it! You fucker! Exactly. Okay, here. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm gonna go get one of these little corners. I'm done with this shit. Yes, I see you, you fucks. Whoever invented these and thought these were a good idea is a fucker. Is a ub utter horse shit fucker. Uh, we'll get a lot of gameplay time out of these, boss. See, all we have to do is just... I'll come in on the weekend and I'll play some jumping heads everywhere, see? Ah, look at us. We've suddenly gone up eight hours of gameplay time. And I'm doing well. I'm going to be the next Neil Druckmann. Fucker. I've increased the rate of fire on the, uh, the Flying Baron Zemo by 62%. I love it when they get frustrated because they smile, you see? The focus groups say they love it. They love what I'm doing here. No, we don't. We fucking hate it. Yeah, shut up. God damn it, you fuckers. I'm literally using a grenade to destroy these fucking spider fucks. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I'm sorry, I have fucking Uzis? When the fuck did I get Uzis? 
All right, save. Bullshit, fuck. I agree with you, Jadix, that Veronica Vaughn is one piece of ass. Want to touch the hiney? I know what you're referencing. Oh my god. Oh my god, you fuck McFucksteens. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Shut up, Twin Spectre. Not true. <coughs> but I don't want to reload. <coughs> Wait a minute, I've already done this. It's just the... Uh... <coughs> what the fuck am I playing? What is this? Oh, this is just fucking horde mode? Fuck that, I don't, I don't like that shit. Let's see. New game. Cry okay, so Crisis in Columbia I've already played. Haskell's House of Horrors I've played. This is just bullshit. Um, oh, well, fuck that. Who wants to play this shit? That's not fun. Um, shut up, Hogwash. I didn't have an arsenal because whenever I, uh, I, I rolled the wheel... I rolled the wheel, it didn't do any goddamn thing. All right, here's the deal. I'm probably gonna buy Resident Evil 2 later today and uh, I'll be back on tonight or tomorrow streaming um, some Resident Evil 2. Now, uh oh, a medieval, should I play a medieval? Uh, you know, I'll play a little Dusk. I'm still in the mood to play a shooter. Hang on, let me let me bring up the Dusk, hang on. Uh, in the moment though. Hang tight, kids. Papa Jaffe's gonna play some Dusk. Updating dust. Give me but a moment. Mm -mm. There I am. Hello, folks. How you doing? How's everybody doing? All right. It's loading dusk. Um, catch you later, Twin Spectre. Yeah, I haven't finished dusk. I need to finish it. I loved it, though. Do I like Iron Maiden? I do like Iron Maiden quite a bit. I just feel that uh, some of it, some of the tuning shit pisses me off. Um, all right, hang on. Rasslin's tomorrow. I think Rasslin's going to be good tomorrow. Actually, they're going to have uh, uh, Oscar fight Becky Lynch, and I think Oscar's super hot. And they're going to have. Um, uh, what's her name? They're going to have uh, Ronda Rousey fight. Uh, who the fuck is she fighting? I don't know, but I want to watch it. Uh, game. Here we go. No, I want Dusk, you fuck. Hang on. Let me get this set up. Sometimes it's not as easy as it should be to make this shit work. Hang on. Oh, my God. No, Sasha Banks, is that right? Yeah, I want to see that. Why is it showing my... Come on, Jeffy. What are you doing, fucker? What are you doing, pal? Figure this shit out. You know what I'm tired of? 
I'm so tired of these fuckers. It's like people on the internet are goddamn morons. I'm so tired of them coming at me not understanding my take on free speech. It drives me batshit. It's like, how many times do we have to basically have this debate? How many times do we have to have this fucking argument? Seems like I guess the answer to that is all the good goddamn time. All the good goddamn time is how many times we have to have the fucking argument, I suppose. Oh, I think I know what's wrong. Hang on. That's what's wrong. I got it. I got it. Okay, let's get rid of this. It's like, fucking stop telling me about free speech. I know what free speech is. I know what the First Amendment is. I just don't agree with you. Stop telling me I'm a fucking Nazi. Can you believe there are people out there that think I'm a goddamn Nazi sympathizer? Think about that. Think about that shit. I'm a goddamn Nazi sympathizer. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of goddamn sense, you fucking moron. Okay, this is the screen I want. What is that screen? What is the screen? Sometimes I get a little bit, uh, Drunken bastard, I should make a Steam game. I've thought about it. Okay, that's not what I want. That's a window. I need the game capture. Hang on, fellas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, video. That's what we need. Okay, we're in. We're in. Where am I? The foothills? I may have set the difficulty too high. I hope I haven't. God, I love this game so much. Yeah, the f all I all I say is I believe in free speech. I believe that people should have the right. Here, here's where people disagree with me, which I just you know it's got to be a generational gap thing uh, or generation gap thing. They disagree with me when they say somebody literally wrote me today and said, "Well, of course, Jaffe, people should have the right to speak, but what I want to see you do is change your view so you so you agree that they shouldn't be given a platform to speak." I'm like, "Well, what's the difference?" So what you want to do is you want to say the person has a legal right to express himself and then you want to basically say in a public government owned, which basically means people owned, which means taxpayer owned space, those people would not be allowed to express their views. Fuck you. You think I like the Nazi views? You think I like Milo Yiannopoulos' views? People are just dumb. It's like they didn't have good civics teachers in high school. It's like, I get it. Don't you understand? 
I probably hate the Nazi views more than you do. If I was living in Germany, if my grandparents lived in Germany, I wouldn't be here. Okay, I assure you, I'm not a Nazi fan. Morons, idiots. There's people, people don't want to, you know, I don't know, I had a good education, I had a good high school education, I had a good college education. I think people need to get their asses educated better. Oh shit. Maybe that's what it is. The older I get, 95% of my gaming diet is comfort food gaming, the older I get. And I like that. <clears throat> a lot of people do that when they get older with their music or their movies. They just don't want to, they don't want to grow. They don't want to, they don't want to experience the, the total newness. They just want what makes them comfortable. I think that's, that's normal. That's why I play a game like this and I just feel like, oh, it's, this is like a blanket. This game to me is like a warm fucking blanket. Makes me happy. I will quote you, Hogwash, a line from Entourage, where, uh, I don't remember who it was, it might have been Michael Madsen says to, uh, Johnny Drama, he says, I think, I think it was Entourage, where he says, look, fucker, uh, I'm, a, I'm not always gonna be overweight, but you're always gonna be an asshole. I thought that was pretty good. That goes out to you, Hogwash, that line from the Entourage motion picture, or the show, that goes out to you, sir. Yes, now we're against the KKK. I'm totally against the KKK. But you wouldn't know it. Fuckers on Twitter. I don't know. I should stop reading Twitter. I should, like, stay off social media for a month. It'd probably do my, my spirit some good. But then how would I let people know I'm streaming? I don't know. It's a conundrum, fellas. Maybe I could just use it to advertise shit and only engage on my streams. Maybe that's a healthier thing. Maybe I should. Maybe that should be my New Year's resolution. You know, I, t I tell you something. I tell you something. I have eaten a lot less carbs the last couple of days and a lot less sugar. And it absolutely gives me a lot more energy. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe these little, these little nerds, these little nutrition nerds are onto something. Maybe Jaffe should just listen the fuck up. Maybe I should listen the fuck up. I don't know. I don't think I ever had a problem with authority. I had a problem when I was a kid with authority with people that were like, uh, thought they deserved my respect just because they were in a certain position. They can go fuck themselves. People who are in an authority position because they deserve to be there, like nutrition, you know, nerds, I think that's pretty good. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I should be a parrot head. I should be like a Jimmy Buffett parrot head. I think I'd be a good parrot head. Is Jimmy Buffett big in other countries? I wonder about that. I mean, he's huge in America, like amongst a certain, he's got a massive fan base, but I don't know if you go to like Japan, are they like, oh, Jimmy Buffett doll? You know, do they know who the fuck that is? Probably not, probably not. Oh, oh. Get back in that hole, you fucker. I'm going to be honest with you, Wrath. You're getting on my nerves. You are really getting on my nerves. Like, I'm not even joking. We, I don't know if you were here when we were talking about you earlier. The Mega 64 stream, I think you went, like, too far. Not because I, like, have thin skin or anything. But because it's kind of just getting... Like, Hogwash has a penchant for being able to be biting, but there's a um, there's a sense about it that is fun, and it's funny, but you know his heart's in the right place. You, more and more, just kind of come off as a bitter old asshole, and I don't really like it. And more important than that, um, I think it's a turnoff to people who don't really know the vibe of my stream. So if people come to the stream and they see you, they're like, who is this asshole and why hasn't Jaffe banned him? 
So I'm just letting you know. For, I'm not. I'm not like giving you a ban warning or anything. I'm just kind of letting you know. It's. It's sort of. Uh, it's kind of getting to the point where I'm not really vibing with it. And you know, do with that what you will. Maybe take some hogwash lessons. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But it's not. You know, it's not. It's not fun. It's just kind of mean. And there is a difference. There's a. I wouldn't even say it's a fine line. There's a skilled line between being mean, and being fun. And you, sir, are not there. You have missed that location. You have, you have, uh, what's the word? You have miscalculated our relationship. And I would advise you to recalculate. Or don't. That's okay, too. You don't have to, obviously. Don't you hate when people talk to you like that? I hate when people talk to me like that. It's really obnoxious. Because it makes you feel stupid. It makes you feel bad. I don't mean to make people feel that way. I like to be nice to people. I would love to be nice to people all the time. Look at those goats jumping up like little fuckers. Look at those little fucking jumping. Look at that. Look at those little jump fucks. There you go. Boom, you fucker. All right, what am I doing? Oh, goats are plenty down here. Would you like some goats? Oh, well, you've come to the right place. This is... Okay, how many... How much health? 53 health. Okay. <gasps> There's the red key. Is Dusk... Is Dusk simpler than Ion Maiden? Huh. That's a good question. Um, hang on. Oh, no! No, are you shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me? I tried to save the fucking game. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Fuck you, Dusk. Come on, you nerds. Oops, sorry. Hit the wrong key. Wrong key. God damn it. Two for one, motherfucker. I don't know what the gold does in this game. I don't know what the gold gives you in this game. Well, I have to download RE2 first. I don't actually own it. I need to buy it and, and, uh, and install it. But I will do that in a little bit. Okay, I would like to save the game, please. Quick save. 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 Oh my god, just save the fucking game. It should be easy as shit. What the fuck? Please don't do that. Get back in the fucking thing, you piece of shit. Got him all cranky all of a sudden. A 
Okay, if I want to save it, game saved. F6, okay. Really? Fuck you. I have a I have a quick save. Haha. -ha. What do I think existence is? I don't know if I understand your question, Prince. Like actual life? What do you mean, what do I think existence is? Fuck these goats. Shit, shit. I have no idea what this experience is that we're all having. I, I don't know. I, I, I do think about it. I'm not like, oh, I don't fucking know. I think about it. I do think about what life is about. I was reading an article the other day about, um, you know, how life on Earth may have actually gotten started by uh, the same asteroid that hit Earth a long time ago that splintered the moon off from Earth and created life as well because it released the right amount of sulfur into the atmosphere to give way to the creation of life. So I do read about this stuff. I think about it. My mind continually gets blown over the idea that we could, you know, simply just like dogs can't comprehend algebra. We just may not be able to comprehend the idea that it's totally rational thought to go. Of course, there could just be things like physics and sulfur and chemicals and gases that give way to life that evolves into conscious entities and we just don't understand it, but there doesn't have to be any kind of creature or God or programmer of a simulation that set that up. It could just be. Um, I absolutely understand that we just may not see the world that way. But because of all that, I just, you know, I don't really know, obviously. Um, I'm fully prepared to die and never know and just go back to, to blackness but there are days where I think we already know and we just don't really admit it um, and, and tell it to ourselves because for whatever reason, whether it's a, a spiritual reason we don't tell ourselves or whether it's it would get in the way of the simulation that we're living. Um, <clears throat> so I do think about it, but I don't really have uh, a good answer. Yes, I'm an absolute agnostic. Yes, 100 percent. I have been for a long, long time. I'm an atheist when it comes to sort of traditional God. Like, I can guarantee you I don't believe in, like, you know, Jesus and Moses and Muhammad and, <clears throat> excuse me, Krishna and all that. I'm absolutely atheist in that respect. But I'm agnostic in the sense that I, I don't have any sense of what the fuck is going on in the world. I don't know why we're here. I don't know if there is. Maybe there is some kind of entity. But I certainly don't believe it's the kind of entity that's been associated with religion up until this point. Or at least the religions that we know about. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come on. D tell me you saved at a good point. All right, that's not bad. <clears throat> <clears throat> I need a drink. Hang on, folks. <clears throat> Do I think aliens exist? Don't know. Probably. But then when you hear things like, um, you know... Life on Earth literally is because a, a, a random rock crashed into a random planet. Maybe not, but it wouldn't surprise me. I started watching a documentary last night called Sirius uh, that my brother recommended. And he's really into UFO studies and stuff. And he was telling me that, um, 
that really is probably one of the best ones you can watch. So I enjoyed it. <clears throat> and I started watching that last night. I need to finish it this weekend. I'm sorry, science already proved Jesus exists existence. I'm sorry, what do you mean? I don't I'm pretty sure I don't believe you, but I would love to get some new evidence. I mean my mind is open. Last I checked, science did not prove the existence of the Son of God. They may have proven there was a figure who went by the name of Jesus or whatever back in the day that is responsible for the uh a lot of the Jesus stories and myths and things, or at least inspired those. But the idea that science has proven that there was the son of God who died on the cross and was resurrected three days later and turned water into wine and walked on water. I can almost guarantee, no, I can absolutely guarantee you science has not proven that was real uh, because the world would be a different place. The moment after they proved it, everybody would just become Christian and we would all just be terrified because it's like shit you're telling me there's actually a, a sense of damnation if i don't do exactly what this book says which is absurd um boss man we might go to japan or new york soon Ugh. Yeah, Hogwash said, Hogwash says God created the elephant man in his own image. Can you imagine? We're all like total mutations. He's like, I didn't want you to look like, you guys are gross looking. I wanted you to look like fucking, uh, what was his name, John Hammond or something? Oh, come on. Oh, all right, focus, Jaffe. Focus, you fuck. Here we go. Let's do this shit right. Okay, Terper Finn says all the women in his family believe in uh, paranormal stuff like touching someone's head and healing them. All I have to say to that, I saw a great uh, meme online which said if all that shit is true about these healers, then why aren't they at the hospital every day? Why don't all these people that can touch your head and take your disease away, instead of standing on stage at some super church and speaking in tongue, which is also known as just garbled bullshit and stream of consciousness, why not just walk to a fucking hospital a children's hospital and heal everybody. Oh, well, yeah, God doesn't work that way. Oh, really? Fuck you. Fuck you. What a what a load of horse shit. What an utter load of horse shit. I'm so I'm so, I, you know, I think I think belief in God is damaging. That's just the truth. I think belief in God is 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 harmful to society. I think we need to evolve. But you guys know my views on that shit. You know my views on that shit, kids and cadetties. You just know how that shit goes. Boom, that's for you. Boom, that's for you. Oh, a little gift. Boom, I'm in a cranky mood all of a sudden. I think Wrath put me in a cranky fucking mood. 
Isn't that interesting that somebody can just, it's not that what he said specifically, it's just that it's like, ah, oh, negativity. I'm so tired of negativity. It's just gross. It's just gross. Just makes me go, oh god, I gotta live with people on the planet that are like that. Ugh, gross. No offense, Wrath. <laughs> Wrath's like, what the fuck? Don't be an asshole, Jeffy. Can't help it. Can't help it, kids. Twin Spectre, you believe in God? What do you believe in God for? Why would you believe in God? What has God ever done for you? What evidence have you ever seen in this world of chaos and cruelty and sickness? Now, the world's pretty great, too. I mean, Earth is amazing. Life is amazing. But this idea that there's a God up there that's like, well, yeah, you know, sure, I got to give little kids cancer and shit. You know, I got to do that. That's just, you know, trust me, I have mysterious ways. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ooh, a little red mist. All right, hang on, fellas. I think that's my dog. Don't go anywhere or go somewhere if you need to. I'll be right back. Cranky Papa Jaffy. I am cranky. I you know, I think I think maybe it would do me some good to go off go off Twitter. I think I'm gonna go off Twitter. Not permanently. I love Twitter, but I think I'm gonna try to stay off Twitter except to let people know I'm streaming for like a week and just see how, see what it does. Do I think the afterlife is based strictly on our fear of dying? Um, no, I think that's a big part of it, but I think a bigger part of it or a meaningful part of it is also, um, <clears throat> that we, uh, it, it's just hard to comprehend nothingness. It's, it's, it's such a bizarre concept. Uh, even though we potentially have lived it before, maybe, you know, when we weren't alive, at least based on this definition, that it's it's hard to imagine what life actually is if it's not what we know of it. So I think the afterlife, the desire to believe in the afterlife also, you know, comes comes from that, frankly. But yeah, I don't I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure, though, you're right. A big part of it is is fear of death. Um, I don't fear death. At least I, I fear dying. I think that might be scary. But being dead, the idea, even if there's nothing, I'm like, eh, okay. I've had that before. I think we have that more often than we think. I think we often are without awareness of ourselves. And I don't mean that like philosophically. I'm not making some kind of soulful point. I mean, literally, you know, there are gaps in our consciousness and when we sleep at night. We don't care. Um... I shall now sit up here and drop mortars on the sad some bitches below. Maybe if I can find them. Oh, here's one. Oops. Oops. All right, let's just go down there. Really? Really? Fuck you.
<clears throat> RPG, you're not wrong. <clears throat> Trying to get into debates with people on Twitter and discussions. I just kind of felt like... I kind of felt like I could reach some people. Like we could have a meeting of the minds and a conversation. People don't want that. They just want to... They just want to talk about how... They want to show people how smart they are. And how... It's, yeah, it's fine. No thank you. I'm bored. You were right, RPG. I got no problems admitting that. I was incorrect when it comes to... My t oh shit, my take on the value of the Twitter, but fuck it, fuck it, I'm with you. I have seen the light. I don't want to exit the level. Yeah, okay. You got rid of Facebook. I I'm still on Facebook because a lot of my family is on Facebook. So. What is my difficulty level? Yeah, no, I can take it's good. That, that seems normal. I should go back home to Alabama. I, f I have a feeling. I have a sense. It's time to go back home to Alabama for a little bit. I mean, nothing long. I live here in San Diego. I have family here. But I think it's time to... To be back in the south for a little bit. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that weird how that happens? You just get a feeling. I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it's spiritual. I don't know if it's just like, eh. Maybe I saw something on TV. Okay, can I get some fucking health? This is ridiculous. Give me some fucking health. Okay, 15 health. Can I please get some good and goddamn health? This is utter horse shit. I need some fucking health. Really? Fuck you. Fuck you. Although, you know what I don't want to do? <coughs> I don't want to go back for my reunion. People are like, oh, our 30th is coming up or something. I don't want to see people. I see the people I want to see on Facebook. I don't want to actually go to a reunion. That seems depressing. A little depressing to go to a high school reunion. It may just be me. It just seems a little depressing. Like, why do you want to be reminded of that shit? Even though high school wasn't bad for me. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, fucker. Okay, come on, Jaffy. Come on, come on. God damn it, Maverick. It's cold in Alabama right now? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when you're endlessly arguing with somebody on Twitter, it's not because you're wrong. They just want to hear their opinion. Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. I've learned my lesson. It took me a while. Okay, that shotgun was a point-blank shot. Come on. This game's out of early access. Come on, fellas. Enough. I think it's out of early access. Okay, fuck this shit. Okay, play smarter, Jaffy. Play smarter. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I might get Resident Evil 2. I think I'm going to get it today. I may just stay inside and play video games all day and stream them. I asked my kids, I said, let's go to this museum. They said, we'll go tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, maybe today is just literally sit inside, order pizza, and play video games. That sounds pretty good. 
It's like comfort food shooter day. I like it. I like it. Atomic Heart does look cool, Mike. I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. It's very cool looking. I need some health, folks. I don't need all this other shit. Give me something. Give me something. Well, I don't have to stop roasting your wrath. I'm just kind of getting uh, annoyed at some of your shit. Um, I'm thrilled you find it hilarious. And I, like I said, be more like the hogwash. Hogwash rides the line between, um, you know, being funny and offensive, but not being an, a literal jerk. And you cross that line more. Spider-Man, Batman, you can always ask a question. Hopefully I'll see it and I'll be happy to answer it. The gold key. Maybe I need a trip to Disneyland. That's what I need. I can use a Disneyland trip. Oh, shit. Fuck. All right. No worries. No worries. No worries. Oh, y'all. Oh, it's a sniper rifle. Nice. I don't know. Who would win? I have no idea. Kratos versus Marvel, Thor. Spider-Man, Batman says who would win. I, my guess would be uh, Thor from Marvel would win. Because I think ultimately what makes a hero a hero or somebody who wins a fight is kind of who has the, uh, the tenacity and also kind of the... Uh, What's the word? The, uh, I think he would be fighting for the right reason and that will sort of see him through. Uh, my guess would be Thor would win from Marvel. Be a good fight though. Oh, yeah, Disney's stupidly expensive right now, but I really want to go. Really? Really? Oh, just, you know what? You know what? Fuck you, man. God damn. Disneyland's a blast. It is expensive. I hear you, <clears throat> Mr. Skello. But it, if you ever have the means, it's recommended. It's a, it's it's good shit. The fuck?
Did Hogwash get banned at uh, at uh, Mega sixty four? He might have. I wasn't watching. Um, I you know I don't know if I like uh, six. My kids like Six Flags. I don't like the kind of the rides like that. Like the last time I went to Six Flags, I threw up. Like I got off one of the rides and the attendant looked at me and she could tell what was going to happen. And she started trying to sort of mo motion me to get over to the trash can and I didn't make it. And I just barfed all over my fucking shoes and everybody's like, Ugh. and I'm like, I don't care. It felt so goddamn good. It felt so goddamn good to puke that shit up. I was happy to do it. And then I did it again and I'm like, okay, that's what I needed. That, that was good people. And then afterwards, um, okay, I need to, how do I use my grenades? Hang on. That's got to be a secret right there. The fuck? Tell me that doesn't work. And then afterwards, I ended up just my kids went and rode with their uncle who doesn't have any problem with uh, stuff like that. And I ended up just sitting by the Wonder Woman ride and just drinking like gobs of fucking water. I needed it. I totally needed it. What's up, Quiet Night? How you doing, sir? I hope you're feeling better. I hope you work shit out with your uncles, sir. Where's my sniper? That's what I want. Really? Uh, save. Don't worry about it. If I ever make a shooter, I will not make one with these little fucking rats and heads that it's like, okay, yes, yeah, stop. That's not good gameplay. It's not enjoyable. All it does is make you have to keep looking down at your fucking feet and it's, it's not fun. It's super obnoxious. Ah. Oh. Quiet Night, you finished up Resident Evil 2. You liked it? 
What do you think? Is it worth 60 bucks or should I wait for it to drop in price? 60 bucks seems kind of steep for that game for some reason. <coughs> Maybe it's just because they're advertising it as a remake. Okay, fuck you. I just got here. Give me a minute to fucking acclimate, you piece of shit. Okay, it's worth 60 bucks. Cool. I was going to pick it up today. That's kind of the amazing thing. A lot of people don't even get that. A lot of people don't even realize because of their age. The fact that I can just be like, yeah, okay, I'm going to order some lunch and then I'll go pick up Resident Evil 6 without having to leave my fucking home. It's just, it's an insane world in which we live. I mean, it just didn't be that. It didn't used to be that way. You didn't know when the game would come into the store. It's like, is it out yet? And then somebody might be sold out of it. You had to get dressed and go to the mall. It's kind of crazy. It's such a great, a great time in that sense. I mean, if you like digital, I certainly like digital. I have no interest in... Uh... The Ratchet and Quaint... Uh, uh, uh... Ratchet and Quaint remake was... Only 40 bucks now. Oh, it's snowing where you are. That's awesome. Oh, I wish it was snowing here. Be snowing and staying and stay inside all day playing video games. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm getting it on PC as well. You're sold out on the PS4 uh, CEO games. Yeah, I'm talking about just buying digital. You have your own game store, isn't that right? I mean, does digital piss you off or do you totally get why people buy it? A mom and pop game store sounds nice though. I mean, at least you can kind of give the customers sort of a better experience than shitty fucking GameStop, man.
Do you have a good PC, Sorcery Warrior? He's saying that his uh, Resident Evil on the PC was stuttering for him. Yeah, no, I saw Mike Warrior. The new Resident Evil's got good scores, for sure. I, I played the demo, and I liked it. It just kind of felt like I've, I've played that kind of game a lot. But like I said, I'm kind of in that sort of chill, at-home mood, introvert mood today. So maybe that's exactly the kind of game I'm looking for. To just put something on and sort of uh, stream it, but not think too much. It's selling better than RE7. I could see that. I could totally see that. <laughs> Respawn says, now we can ask the questions to the creator of a famous franchise without leaving home or having to write a letter. Yeah, it's easier too, because I don't, I'm not good at correspondence. Just ask Rob. Rob has something sent to me for over a month. I need to get my ass down to the goddamn UPS store and send it back to him. But he knows I have the ADHD. He knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. Um, we know we have not banned wrath yet no wrath wrath seems to have gotten the message he's a smart fellow well smartish smartish I think what's next is a boss, right? See, even that, the fact that the boss just comes out and there's no fucking cutscene, he just comes out, that's the shit. I don't need a fucking cutscene. I mean, do you guys even realize the amount of money game studios would spend on a fancy cutscene of a boss coming out? I get it. You like that shit. <clears throat> I don't need it. I don't need it. This is much better to me. Just let me fucking fight the thing. Yeah, I need the backstory with the horse and how he came to be on fire in a cutscene. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit, there's more. 
gulp. Well, at least I saved. Wait, what? Now I'm a little confused. What the fuck did he do? What? What? I don't even have to kill the boss. I can just walk out the level? Oh. Okay. All right, here's what I'm going to do, fellas. I'm going to stop streaming for a bit. I'm going to download Resident Evil 2. I'm going to get some food. I'm going to go take care of my children, see if they want to hang out. But I will be back tonight just game streaming uh, RE2. So hopefully uh, I will see some of you fuckers online. In the meantime, I appreciate you hanging out with me and spending some time with me today. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.